Ayo, duckies, Andy Lip here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this is a cheeky brand new plugin that is from the master himself, the OBS wizard, Exceldro. Uh, I actually think this is such a simple plugin, but you know what? It's the most handy plugin that I have used so far. Trust me, if you guys are big on making your streams really interactive and a lot of things going on, or even just the simple things on your stream, you ever just want to remember that something's not working or something you might need a fix after stream or just change and edit this plugin is just for you trust me let's just get into it it's awesome put your rock by the stone let's go Right, so a cheeky little shout out from me. I'm actually going on holiday, so the next few videos won't be from me. They will be from, it'll be a channel takeover from Silver and Waldo, which is really exciting because that means there's some cool stuff coming because they always do better stuff than me, right? Let me know in the comments if you agree. Any video they're involved in is usually better, right? It is. Make sure you go and follow their Twitches as well, right? So the plugin that we're going to be talking about in today's video is the Scene Notes Doc from, as I say, Exceldro. I've been putting this off for a little while just because I've got a lot of things going on and also all the <coughs> Streamlabs stuff that was going on I wanted to cover. So this hasn't had too many downloads. I don't know why. It is amazing. It's so useful. So to get this downloaded, we just press the download button. All the links are going to be in this description as I normally do and as standard with Exceldro plugins is available for Linux, Mac and Windows. So we always really recommend using the Windows installer, but that's not right for everyone. Like for instance, I use mobile OBS portable mode, sorry, and I have loads of different versions of OBS. So I like to download the zip file. So I'm going to show you how to install it that way because everyone knows how to run an EXE and press install. It's not difficult. So to install the zip file, just press download and then open up the zip. It'll have two folders in there, data and OBS-plugins. We're just going to copy them. So highlight them both and copy. And then we're going to go and install it somewhere where we want it. So my OBS is usually in C drive and then we go into program files or program files 86. It could be in one of them or both. So if it's not there after you've installed it, maybe try it in the other one. So we're going to open program files and look for OBS-studio just there. And we just paste the files in there. So mine's going to say, oh, do you want to replace and all that jazz? I don't want to replace because I've already got it installed. And that's how you update as well. So once we've got that all done, we can open up OBS. So once in OBS, we can you won't see any changes or anything like that on the UI. We need to actually turn it on. So if you go up to the top left and go to view and then go to docs, you should see the option scene notes just there. If you're not seeing that, it means you've not installed the plugin correctly. So we're just going to turn that on and it normally will pop it out into the middle of the screen like so and it'll just look like a text box you can resize it you can move it around and then we can also dock it into obs as well so we can dock it into here for instance we can put it into another tab so i've got my twitch chat and i can switch to scene notes as well or i can just dock it on its own like so obviously you can dock it however you want inside of obs so we're just going to keep an eye out because there's there's no nothing here look if i type in um, scene one notes for instance we've written that into here and and that is it but now if i change scene it deletes it so as you can see there's nothing in there now so in this one if i type in scene two notes like so you can see it there i change back my scene to say my just chatting scene you can see scene one notes i change back to monitor it says scene two notes and then also, obviously, I've got no notes for this scene as well. So this is honestly great for anybody that's wanting to say you want to put a script on there or you've got some talking points or something like that that you want to add to it. Or maybe people have noticed something's not working on your stream. Rather, if you're like me and you turn your stream off, you're like, oh, what was the thing that wasn't working? I don't remember. Well, now you can write it down straight off the bat. There are some other features with this plugin as well, which I, I find really, really handy. So if I go back to scene one notes, for instance, what you can actually do is I wish this feature was in just OBS using a text GDI source, but we can actually just highlight things, right click, and we can actually change the font, the text color, the background color. So I actually do a little bit of formatting on individual bits. So I can change the font of this. Uh, I don't know, we'll uh, put it in the Pokemon font 
and I'll say I want it 14. As you can see, there we go. We've got it written in the Pokemon font just there. I can start writing more. It's in the Pokemon font. But if I highlight that, just like you would do with any text editing thing, you could change the text color of it, make it bright red if I want to. And then now you'll see that text is in red. We can also do like um, turning on background color. So basically highlighting it. So if I do green, we can see it also covers it up like that so if you've got something important to remember or you're doing some sort of podcast or anything like that you can have your notes displayed on the particular scene so you don't have to look away from obs so you can see all the action in one place like i say such a simple plugin but i think it is so useful for many different people a lot of people that may be doing tutorials like i am and you want to put some sort of notes on there not that I ever do that, I just go with the flow and see what happens and tell you guys probably the wrong information, you know how it is, I, I make mistakes, we all make mistakes, but trust me, it is going to help your workflow so much. So make sure you do one last thing for me, super simple to do, okay, and when I mean super simple, all you got to do is come into OBS, into the OBS forums just here, look, just here, make sure you're logged in, if you're not logged in, create an account. And what all you gotta do, look, zero ratings. I think Exceldro is worth more than that. So we're gonna press leave rating. We're gonna say, not terrible, not poor, not average, not good, excellent. Top class performance from a top class plugin creator. Boom. There we go. Leave Excel Draw rating. It really helps him getting some more downloads and everything like that. Remember, Excel Draw does this stuff for free. So consider joining his GitHub. He's got all his links on there as well to help you out. Look, look all these different links. Go and sort him out. All right, guys. If you want to support me as well, consider joining Patreon or the YouTube channel members below and all that jazz. You know how it is. Put your rock up the stone and I'll see you in the next vid in a couple of weeks because I'm going on my holidays. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.